Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do policy based routing. First of all, let's talk a little bit about policy based routing. It is a technique used to make forwarding and routing decisions based on policies set by administrator. In traditional routing, packets are forwarded on the basis of destination address, right? But in policy based routing, administrator can set custom policies to match the traffic on the basis of source as well as destination addresses. Let's take a look at our topology here. You can see that we have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. We want that the users of both VLANs can communicate with each other. This is pretty simple since both VLANs are created on layer 3 switch and both VLANs can start communicating with each other by just a single command that is IP routing. Our network is already working using traditional routing. Uh, let's see if PC1 can communicate with PC2 in VLAN 20 as well as other devices on this network. Mm, what happened? Twenty dot two. <coughs> we got a reply. So you can see, PC one can reach PC two. Now let's try pinging. Eight dot eight dot eight. An address which is connected behind ISP one. So PC one can reach this address. Now let's try this one, this loopback address. Four dot four dot four. Yes. Now it means PC one can ping PCs on VLAN twenty as well as both the ISPs and the networks behind these ISPs and similarly for VLAN 20 we can try pinging PC1 from PC2 You can see that routing is working properly, but this is traditional routing. This is what we do not want in this case. We want that the users of VLAN 10 must be able to forward the internet based traffic via ISP1, and users of VLAN 20 should be able to forward all the traffic destined to our internets via ISP2, not via ISP1. Basically, we want the VLAN 20 to use this internet connection and VLAN 10 to use only this internet connection to forward the traffic right now let's start setting up our policy based routing on layer 3 switch in policy based routing the first step is to create access control list to match the traffic based on criteria we want so let's create our access list first I'm going to show you this configuration in a text editor and you guys might be wondering why I'm writing these commands in text editor instead of running this directly on Cisco device guys this is the way to do it quickly and you can plan and do at the same time like you can plan by writing the commands first of all we start creating an access list extended is here basically give it a name I will name the access list on the basis of route map which will be discussed later for VLAN 10 so I'm putting 10 in here and this ACL will match the traffic of local networks so I will put local 
so the naming convention will be pretty easy to remember rm 10 for vlan 10 local to match traffic which is local okay now here goes my permit statement to permit ip based traffic source source network will be vlan 1 and destination network will be vlan 20 so our commands would be 10.0255 sorry we got to enter wildcard mask 255 destination ad address will be 192.168.20.0.255 wildcard mask that's all for the success list this is here will match the local traffic having source address of VLAN 10 and destination address of VLAN 20 right now similarly let's create another access list that will match the traffic destined toward internet so we put INT here for easy remembering okay now the source address will be same and destination address will be towards internet means any destination now you can see we have policy access list control which can match a traffic from VLAN 10 to 12 and another policy to match the traffic having source of VLAN 10 and destination and it means destination towards internet now that we have done this for VLAN 10 similarly we can create the access list for VLAN 12 20 sorry VLAN 20 now you guys can see why I am writing this in text title because this is the quick way to do we just need to modify this flip the source and destination 10 20 and we are done we have created two ACLs for VLAN 20 as well now we are done with access list part and now we have to create route maps <coughs> we start creating our first route map for VLAN 10 we will name it similarly like ACLs RM-10 for VLAN 10 we will name the route map for VLAN 10 as RM-10 next we will write the sequence number permit sequence number is any arbitrary number it is just like uh, lower the sequence number first the row map will be processed lower the number higher is its priority and we write the match clause IP address we will match this ACL <coughs> for local traffic RM10 local we don't use uh, we will not use set clause because if this uh, uh, local traffic is matched we don't want to set any next hop address so we will leave set clause empty and move forward create another route map basically same route map but with the higher sequence number permit 10 this time we will match the address we will match this is here ok 
okay once this is really matched means the user is trying to send the traffic towards internet so to send the traffic towards internet we need to set the next hop address to this address because we want the users of VLAN 1 to reach internet via ISP1 that's why we are setting next hop address to this address which is 202.164.10.2 we will use our set clause as set ip next hop next hop will be 202.164 what was that 10.2 10 10.2 .2. 10 .2. ok this is all about uh, roadmap for VLAN 10 what this roadmap will do first it will match the ACL for local traffic and if it is matched means user is trying to send the traffic from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20 we don't want to do anything we don't want to change the next hop address the <coughs> traffic will be routed via layer 3 switch via default routing we did not change any next hop address here but the higher sequence number what we did if this ACL is matched means if the user is trying to send the traffic from VLAN 10 to any address means to any address except this address the most probably the traffic will be distant towards internet so to match this traffic we need to set the next hop of the packet to this address so that the traffic gets forwarded to ISP1 and then forwarded to SRV host. In a similar manner, let's create another roadmap for VLAN 20. Okay, we'll change this. Sequence number will be same. We will match the access list 20 this time for local traffic RM 20 and for VLAN 20 the next hop will be this router address so we will write 202 20.2 so basically this route map is saying if users of VLAN 20 is trying to send the traffic towards VLAN 10 it will be routed via layer 3 switch but if users of this VLAN trying to send the traffic towards internet the packets will get the next hop address of ISP2 so the ultimately the traffic will be going through ISP2 and then reach the SRV2 host <coughs> this is all what we need to do for um, policy based routing so let's copy this configuration to our layer 3 switch and we will see how it goes copy it open the layer 3 switch ok and paste everything Thing got created now our final step is to apply this route map to VLANs so we will need to apply this route map 10 to VLAN 10 and this route map 20 to VLAN 20 interface VLAN 10 <coughs> will set this route map apply this route map as IP policy route map this is VLAN 10 so route map will be RM10 ok and face VLAN 20 and the route map will be I 
may be poorly see out map until we can see this in our configuration this is what we did here VLAN 10 has the IP policy route map done and VLAN 20 has IP policy route map on day right these are all access lists that are matching the traffic okay. and these are our route maps Okay, so now let's check how it's working in our network. Let me open PC1. Let's try ping a host which is behind ISP1. Let it look back one. <coughs> yeah, we can ping this. Okay. and stripe in pc2 which is in vlan 20 we got a reply means pc1 can still ping pc2 which is in vlan 20 as well as it can also ping loopback 1 which is behind isp1 but what if we try to ping this Loopback 1 at ISRV2 which is behind ISP2 if our policy based routing is configured correctly PC1 should not be able to ping 4.4.4.4 because it is behind ISP2 and our policy based routing is configured to forward every packet which is not destined for this VLAN 20 and the next hop will be set to 202.164.10.2 so if we send a packet to 4.4.4.4 ultimately our policy based routing is going to set the next hop address to this address and via this address this <coughs> this address is not accessible our ping will completely fail and we will not get a reply so how do you know that policy based routing is properly working you can try a trace route, trace route from this host pc1 let us see it trace 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. We are running a trace, so it is showing us that PC1 is reaching 8.8.8.8 via first going to 192.168.10.1, which is its this address, and then next half 202.164.10.2, which is this address, and this is set by policy based routing and then at last it reaches this loopback interface we can see this in action by enabling debugging on our layer 3 switch the command is debug IP policy okay we enabled policy routing debugging zone so now let me fire some pings and we will see what we got in response pinging first of all I am trying to ping the PC2 which is in VLAN 20 20.2 20 
you can see we are getting reply and we are getting logs of policy uh, policy debugging here which is saying fib policy match normal forwarding means when a policy ma policy is matched for local traffic normal forwarding is done by the layer 3 but if you send a packet to 8.8.8.8 now it will be routed by policy based routing it should be routed by policy based routing if our routing is working properly let us note that we are getting reply the logs are saying fib policy match destination is 8.8.8.8 .8 and its gateway is set as 202.164.10.2 and packet is policy routed yeah, you can see that packet is being policy routed right another way is that you can also see policy based routing is working via checking the access list logs show IP access this RM 10 local you can see there are 12 matches these matches will keep incrementing once the packet, uh, packets are sent to VLAN 20 let's see if we ping 20.254 which is server in VLAN 20 right I'm trying to ping this thing here normal forwarding is being done these are the debug logs we need to see so IP access list this list name which is matching the local traffic now you can see the matches increased earlier it was 12 now it is 19 means access lists are working and matches are made so guys this is how policy based routing works by using access control lists and route maps keep in mind that policy based routing requires enhanced multi-layer image if your layer 3 switch is running standard multi-layer image you will not be able to use PBR since some commands will not be available in this version that's all about policy based routing if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time